just a couple old farts get together and spend some time and uh, see some country and get away from the rest of the world for a little bit. Hunting means different things to different people. And at Fort Harrison, this hunting season means the opportunity to help our veterans. Because for the first time this year, the fort opened its training area to Purple Heart recipients for a special week-long hunting opportunity. Giving older or disabled veterans like Great Falls' Johnny Sweeten the access and opportunity to hunt by vehicle some property not available to everyone else. You get out, get away from people, you know, you're not around anything and like this hunt here, like I said, we're the only ones in here. Uh, you don't have to worry about dodging bullets or anything, you know. So. Well, I think it's a fabulous idea. I've seen some country today I didn't know was here, and uh, it's good, easy country for people like Johnny to hunt, and uh, it gives them an opportunity that they wouldn't have otherwise. For vets like John, who are battling several issues that make activities they enjoy, like big game hunting, difficult. Knowing that someone is thinking enough of them to give them the opportunity to get out and hunt means a lot. When we come home, we uh, wasn't welcomed home or anything, and uh, it's helped out that people, you know, think of us enough to uh, let us uh, do this, you know. No, I think it's important just to give back to our veterans, especially our Purple Heart, our wounded warriors, and hopefully this hunt will help facilitate that and giving back to them. Oh, they're a big asset, big asset, because I belong to different programs through uh, our vet center there in Great Falls, and uh, everything we do together is a big asset to us. It's a time when we can get together and tell our stories and. Uh, help each other out. Probably looking for you. <laughs> because of Fort Harrison, John will have new stories to tell. From Helena for MTN Sports, I'm Andy Curtis.